and you get locked in. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Perspective. How's your back? My back? Yeah, when you went down on the... Oh, yeah, sorry. It's all good. I'm good. It's all good? Yeah, just got the wind knocked out of me. I was worried about you, man. Yeah. So you didn't miss it? You didn't miss a play though. No, I think um, my string is still good there. <laughs> You've uh, obviously faced these guys enough to give a point, but, but how good is that front seven? I mean, it seems like every week we're saying as good as it gets, but I mean, they're as good as it gets. I mean, Akeem Hicks, uh, Khalil Mack, Robert Quinn, Blal Nichols, a lot of solid players. Uh, linebackers are great too. So it's going to be a good test for us. Uh, they're great at rushing the passer and they're great at stopping the run, so it's going to be good. What about Akeem? What about Akeem? So, so good for so long. Oh man, he's just, he's massive and he can move pretty well. You know, he's quick, he's massive, he plays hard and uh, he's got a lot of moves in his arsenal. So it's tough to play against him for sure. Do you prefer the, the challenge of a, a front four that's just talented on their own and can rush a quarterback on, on their own as opposed to maybe some of the games and blitzes that you have to deal with from the mental perspective that you saw last week? Yeah, that's a good point. But I mean, that front, that was a talented front seven too. So, but yeah, I definitely would prefer less games, I guess. I don't want to tip my hat, but those stunts, those are tough. Those are the tougher part to pick up for an old line. I'd rather go, let's go to battle, you know? How close do you think this, this offense is to figuring it out the fourth quarter? Because we obviously saw the first half against Green Bay was really good. The second mm -hmm. half against Baltimore was really good. Then there's this one full game scoreless streak in between there. So how close are you guys to putting it all together? I think we're close, man. I, I just I just think it's the details. It's locking into each play. I mean, we had a couple crucial penalties that uh, you know those really kind of stalled the momentum for you. We get rid of those, and I think we're we're right there rolling. But I got a bunch of confidence in the guys. I think we're close. Everybody's working hard. We just got to put two halves together. What's more frustrating are the, the pre-snap penalties or the post-snap penalties, the, the ones that for sure. maybe aren't happening in between the play that you can't. Pre-snap penalties are the ones we can control. Uh, Coach Campbell talks about it all the time. Hey, you might get a hold here, but you're battling your, uh, you're battling really hard. Mental penalties like that, you can control that stuff, and that's the stuff we don't like. What about the way you've overcome the loss of your start at left tackle? Obviously, you don't have that, but just to sort of yeah, I mean Taylor's one of the best tackles in this league, and it's been it's been tough without him. Not only just of him as a player, but him as a leader in the room as well. So, but for Matt Nelson to step up, uh, everybody kind of step up, and that's one thing I got. I got to give my hats off to Coach Fraley. The way he prepares everybody in the room to play each week is play each week is incredible, and uh, everybody's prepared, and the guys have stepped up, so it's been good. You know guys like Logan Stender, they get two or three steps. Do you impress on them? Play those, those are really important. For sure, yeah. And uh, the thing is, they're not only preparing for those two to three snaps, they're preparing to play the whole game if they have to, which is something that I think is great that Hank does. So I can't give enough credit to Hank. You see Deck out there pacing and Trying to got him uh, in uniform, stretching out before the game. Like, you get a sense for how antsy he's back on the field. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we kind of call it like survivor's guilt. Like, you're out there during practice. And you're miserable during practice, but when you're not in practice, you're feeling terrible. And I think he's definitely itching to be back out there with us, and I uh, can't wait to have him back. Only because Nick walked by and wanted a shout out. Shout out Nick um, Williams. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, Akeem Hicks is obviously a really important guy to, to make in terms of his development and friendship. Can you can you glean anything to tips trade talking to your teammate about what you get? You know. Um, I guess, but not really. There, I've. I've played Akeem enough to I think there's not really anything that's going to surprise me. It's just knowing what he's going to do and being able to stop it, honestly, because it, it's not like he's hiding anything. He's going full speed. His power, it's quickness. It's just a lot of talent. I think you earned your sportsmanship award last year when you lost. <laughs> yeah, no comment. No comment. <laughs> so you, uh, you mentioned Hank a couple of times. I know you guys were excited that he stayed through the coaching change. Mm -hmm. Have you? Felt the difference now that you're in the season of you know just having him through the past few months how much it's benefited you guys yeah for sure like i've mentioned before for me personally it's just incredible having a guy who played center 10 years in this league and to, just to help me with my development and help me learn the offense and think conceptually so it helps me incredibly and then i just think familiarity just how you're talking there's so many different uh words for scheme and terminology that offensive linemen use and for that to carry over is a big thing that a big hurdle that we didn't have to, I guess, learn again. So that's been huge for us this season. Do you think that's made it? I don't want to say easier, but I, I guess easier for yeah, Matt to step in at right tackle, having yes, that familiar, yes, yeah. yes, that familiarity with Hank and Hank's familiarity with Matt 
having that confidence in him, I think it's been a win-win there.